Six Chelsea players who became superstars after quitting club and moving elsewhere. Chelsea have produced more than a few world-class players over the years, but not all of them reached the top at Stamford Bridge. Club legends John Terry and Frank Lampard both progressed through the Blues Academy system before becoming established first-team stars, while Rhys James and Mason Mount are flying the flag for the new generation. But for every Lampard or Mount, there's a Mohamed Salah or Kevin De Bruyne who departed West London without being given much of a chance only to rise to the top with another club. Daily Star Sport take a look back at six former Chelsea players who became superstars after quitting the club and moving elsewhere. How could we start anywhere else? Salah moved to Chelsea from Basel in 2014, but made only 13 appearances in the league, scoring twice. His last Blues match came in rather ignominious circumstances, too, a 4-2 defeat to League 2 Minnows Bradford City in the FA Cup. In 2015 and 2016, the forward went out on loan to Fiorentina and Roma before joining the latter on a permanent deal worth around £11 million. He spent just one season in the Italian capital before Liverpool came calling, with the Reds bringing the Egyptian back to the Premier League for a fee of £36.7 million. It's fair to say things have gone rather well for Salah since his top-flight return. In his first campaign back on these shores, he smashed the Premier League record for most goals in a 38-game season. Since joining the Reds, he has scored 148 goals in 229 games, won the Premier League, Champions League and Club World Cup, and is now classed as one of the greatest players in the world. These days Kevin De Bruyne is considered one of, if not the, best midfielders on the planet. Yet KDB couldn't get a look in during his days at Stamford Bridge. Having moved from Belgian side Genk in 2012, the Belgian maestro played just two Premier League games in two years for the Blues. After a season-long loan at Werder Bremen, De Bruyne joined Wolfsburg, where he quickly caught the attention of Manchester City. City paid £55 million to bring the midfielder back to the Premier League, and it was money well spent, as De Bruyne has helped them win three more titles, while flourishing under Pep Guardiola. This is one must really hurt Chelsea fans. The Blues supporter as a child, Declan Rice was released by the club's academy at the age of 14 for his lack of physicality and versatility. That worked out well, didn't it? The young midfielder was quickly snapped up by Premier League rivals West Ham, and the rest, as they say, is history. Rice has gone on to establish himself as one of the country's finest defensive midfielders, with Hammers boss David Moyes hinting that it would take a bit of over pounds 100 million to prize him away from the London Stadium. Manchester United and Chelsea are both interested in the 23-year-old, who has also become an England regular under Gareth Southgate. The good news for Chelsea, if they do decide to try and re-sign Rice at any point, is that thanks to Romelu Lukaku, they already know what it's like to get burned after letting a young talent leave prematurely. Another star who supported the Blues as a youngster, Lukaku moved to Stamford Bridge from Anderlecht in 2011 and was tipped for greatness. However, he turned out just 10 times for the club in the Premier League, was loaned to West Brom, where he excelled, and flogged to Everton for £28 million. Lukaku then joined Manchester United in a £75 million deal, where he kept decent numbers in front of goal, but never quite captured the imagination of the club's fans. He finally achieved a claim at Inter Milan, helping Antonio Conte's side to last season's Serie A title, before returning to Chelsea last summer for a fee of £97.5 million. We know it's hard to picture Nathan Aiken a Chelsea shirt, but we promise he really did make 17 appearances for the West Londoners after moving from Feyenoord 2011. Like most Chelsea kids, the Dutchman was farmed out on loan, joining Reading, Watford and Bournemouth before finally settling at the latter of those three clubs. It was at Bournemouth where Ake started to fulfill his potential, and after the Cherries were relegated from the top flight in 2020, he joined Manchester City for £40 million. Although opportunities have been limited since the move, Ake still has time on his side as he bids to force his way into Guardiola's plans on a more regular basis. Another youngster who was initially cast aside at Stamford Bridge, Nemanja Matic initially joined the Blues from now-defunct Slovak side Casas in 2009. The Serbian midfielder found first-team chances hard to come by during his first spell at the Blues and was soon loaned out to Dutch side Vitesse. He was then sold to Benfica in a deal that saw David Lewis move the other way. And sure enough, two years later, Matic returned to Chelsea himself for £21 million, nearly 20 times his original price. The midfielder would later leave Stamford Bridge for a second time to join Manchester United in 2017, where he remains to this day.